I program my NXT to behave like an etch -a sketch right down to erasing when shaken. I'll start with a quick demo of this robot's capabilities. Just like a real etch -a sketch this robot allows you to create drawings on its screen by rotating two knobs. The knob on the left controls the x-coordinate of your cursor. The knob on the right controls the y-coordinate. If you attempt to move your cursor off the edge of the screen, the motor locks up and the knob becomes difficult to turn. Finally, when you want to erase your drawing, all you have to do is give the robot a quick shake. Now I'll delve into the hardware and software behind this robot. The build was mostly very straightforward, just attached two motors to the sides of the brick. The only difficult part was figuring out how to make the screen erase when shaken. Ideally, I would have used an accelerometer sensor, which is available for purchase through third-party vendors. This could sense a shake directly. However, I don't own one of those sensors yet, so instead I built a sort of hammer mechanism that flies up and falls down on a touch sensor when shaken. The basic program is fairly straightforward. It's just a matter of using data wires to map the degrees on the rotation sensor of the left motor to the x-coordinate of a point on a display block and the right motor to the y-coordinate. So long as you don't check the box that clears the screen, the screen will stay darkened at every location that the point has been. I then improved the program in a few small ways. So that the point wouldn't fly across the screen with a small turn of the knob, I used a math block to multiply the rotation sensor reading by 0.5 before mapping the result to the display block. This causes the cursor to move by one pixel per two degrees turned. The biggest challenge came in trying to create a way to prevent the cursor from going off the edge of the screen. Compare blocks check to see if the x value is below 0 or above 100, and if the y value is below 0 or above 60. If any of these things were true, the cursor would be off the screen. Then come some switch blocks whose paths are chosen by the results of the compare blocks. If a compare block is true, a motor block runs which breaks the motor on the corresponding knob, and if it's false, a motor block allows the motor to coast. All of this is contained within a loop block that runs until the touch sensor is pressed. After that happens, a display block clears the screen. Then the program starts all over again. Thanks for watching!